thinking about how you can grow and increase your reach after the recent changes in the Instagram algorithm? That's exactly what we'll be talking about today in this video. Let's first talk about the Instagram algorithm itself. What it wants, how it works. The main goal of the Instagram algorithm is to keep its audience hooked on the app for as long as possible. The algorithm is a bit different for all the various features that Instagram offers. Feed posts, reels, stories, and the explore page. Let's get a big chunk, that is, feed posts, out of the way first. Six main factors play an important role in deciding what type of content and whose content shows up on users' feeds. Interest, relationship, timeliness, frequency following, and usage. Interest is judged by the type of posts users are most likely to interact with, like images, reels, videos, or stories. Relationship is judged by how close you are with your followers based on interaction, searches, and follows. Timeliness as a factor will depend on your feed preference now. And I'm saying this because now we've got three different feed views. So we've got home, which is the current algorithmically sorted feed, which you currently see. Following, which is that old chronological sorting we all loved and missed. And favorites, where you could choose whose content you want to prioritize and see. So, timeliness will depend on which preference you pick. Cool, right? That being said, it's always better to post when your audience is active because, hey, greater chances for visibility. Who'd want to miss that? Frequency is basically how often your audience returns to Instagram, whether they're active, lazy, or busy users. And following is how many people your audience is following and what your chances are of showing up on their feeds are according to that. Lastly, usage refers to the activity patterns of your audience, whether they have long or short sessions on Instagram. I've discussed the feed algorithm in detail in this video here, so you can check it out for more about these six factors and of course tips to make Instagram posting for you. Moving on to other Instagram features. Video is at the moment the most consumed content on social media. Video has two times the engagement as compared to images or other forms of media. It makes sense since it's more visually appealing, easily consumable, and can be more interactive. To make things even more personal, live sessions are the ideal form of video if you really want to make that connection. It can play a huge role in relationship building since it allows you to have a one-on-one -on -one with your audience in real time. Reels are the most popular form of video content on Instagram at the moment. Video content is being consumed like crazy everywhere. Content on Instagram Reels gets 22% more engagement than regular videos on Instagram. It's all about that quick, relatable, visual content consumption now. They also have the most organic reach, so try to incorporate Reels in your strategy. Try not to share blurry, low-resolution Reels because that kind of content doesn't appear very frequently on others' Reel tabs and that means you're missing a great opportunity. Stories are a powerful tool to engage your audience. They're also a great way to redirect your audience to your posts, blogs, YouTube channel, or more which is why you should really work on your Instagram story strategy as well. The thing that the algorithm focuses on in stories is the engagement and relationship with your audience. If your audience keeps interacting with your stories, it's more likely that they're going to end up seeing your future stories as well. Consistently upload stories so you don't get lost in the crowd. The algorithm for the explore page works similar to the feed algorithm. It's based on what Instagram thinks is of interest to a person, the kind of posts they like, search for, share, comment on, or view the most. Unlike the Instagram feed, which is mostly made up of content from accounts you already follow, the Explore feed results would be almost made up entirely of content from accounts new to you. So now that we've discussed what makes the algorithm, let's talk about what you can do to make the most of it. Here are 9 tips to follow for maximum reach, engagement, following, planning, the works. Number 1. 
share video content and I mean real it's like I mentioned before that kind of content is really helping people organically reach their targeted audiences so get a nice and comfortable room and get recording tip number two add clear call to actions you don't want to confuse your audience about what they need to do after they view your posts try to stick to one or maybe two call to actions at most ask a question People prefer to answer things where they don't really have to think much, so you can ask simple yes or no questions for quick replies. You can ask them to double tap an image. Basically, like the post in order to reach a specific goal, giving them an incentive. You can also make commenting fun by asking them to answer questions using emojis. For example, asking them to comment a pizza emoji if they like pizza or a burger emoji if they like burgers get creative and encourage interactions number three collaborate to cross promote your instagram content basically fancy words for try co-posting you can collaborate on content with other influencers and businesses which can help boost your engagement and reach tremendously the reason for this is that your content can seen by both your followers, which is also one of the many reasons why connecting with like-minded individuals, influencers, and agencies is so important. To collaborate, simply click tag people and invite a collaborator. You can add more than one. Your posts will show up on their feeds if they accept your collaboration request. Number four, use Instagram story stickers. Instagram has a lot of features that you can use to boost your engagement. One of them being stickers. You can ask questions, create polls, create an add your sticker to get people to share something they can relate to, add a quiz, create countdowns, and more. Number five, use Instagram alt text. Adding alt text and relevant keywords in your description helps your images get discovered through search. It basically helps Instagram's algorithm understand your content and then send it to the right people. A lot of people miss the opportunity to add an alt text because it's not really there. Like it's there, but it's not. You kind of have to look for it. I'll show you. When you're adding a description, click on advanced settings and at the bottom, you'll find alt text. That sneaky little thing. Number six, publish content at the best time. It's important to know when your audience is most active and engages with your content. You can use this opportunity to post the most important material at the optimal time. Content Studio monitors your Instagram analytics and based on your posting frequency and timings, it suggests the best time to post on your channel. You can also automate all of your Instagram postings from there, making life super simple. Number seven, share posts to story. Great, you've uploaded a post, but it's probably not going to be seen by everyone following you. To increase its reach, share your post to your story. If someone missed it on their feed, there is a chance they'll see it on your story and click it. Number eight, engage on others' posts. As I mentioned earlier, relationship is one of the factors that Instagram's algorithm judges. So it only makes sense that you should interact with other accounts so that they're shown your posts more frequently. And of course, don't forget to interact with your followers as well. Number nine, optimize your Instagram strategy. Instagram itself states that you should use around three to five hashtags. Using too many hashtags will not help Instagram understand your post and it'll be pretty confusing. What Instagram does suggest is that one to two hashtags should be broad hashtags and the other two to three should be niche specific. For example, hashtag social media marketing is a broad hashtag and social media marketing tool or hashtag content studio are more niche specific. These hashtags will cater both types of audiences. Well, that's about it for this video, but if you'd like to know more tips, let us know in the comments below. If you've got any tips you'd like to share with us, let us know as well. We'd love to know. Make sure you hit that subscribe button for more such videos in the future and give us a thumbs up if you found this video helpful. Until next time, Manur from Content Studio, signing out.